If you're creating ebooks or paperback books to sell on Amazon as a side hustle or even as a main hustle, there's a tool I've found that I've been using lately that you have got to check out before you create your next book. Okay, so the tool that I'm talking about today is called BookBeam. You may have heard of it, you may not have. I'm just going to walk you through it, uh, kind of the way that I've been using it in some ways that you can use it to improve what you're doing in your Amazon book publishing business. One of my favorite things about BookBeam is the Chrome extension that you get access to when you have a paid subscription. Uh, the way that it works is when you're on any page on Amazon, you can see uh, you know, sales data, uh, maybe projected earnings, things like that for a book. Uh, I picked this cookbook here because I could tell based on the cover that it was probably self-published. Uh, so I just want to show you what it looks like when you have the BookBeam extension you know, active uh, on your Chrome browser. You scroll down and you're going to see some really cool information right here. So we've got the BSR. Uh, estimated number of sales per day, estimated royalties per day, um, and age. It looks like this maybe is a newish book. I don't know why it says, oh, maybe it's one month. I'm sorry, I was thinking one minute, so never mind. Um, you can also view the entire book history. Uh, this is really valid for you if you want to see, like, what's the sales been like over time uh, for this particular book? Uh, you can also see information on the review and rating history um, and statistics. Uh, I'll just show you what this looks like. Uh, I've not actually used any this month so far. Uh, so this tells me that they're making 35 cents per unit, which I probably could have figured out from the price. Yep. Uh, and the average rank over the last seven days. So here's what it looks like when you're looking at, like, how is this sold over time? Let's look at the last year. Looks like maybe this book isn't that old, so it's not going to show us anything quite that far back. So as you can see, this is the Kindle book that we were looking at. Uh, you click on the paperback here. We're going to see a little bit different information. This populates here. So I was saying no sales for average, although we can look right here and see if it has an actual. Yeah, so it has a rank, so it is selling, just not even selling one a day though on average. This is this little uh, table you see underneath the, this product detail section here is also something that is part of this extension that you get with BookBeam. Uh, let you know the categories that it's in. Uh, you know, how many layers deep it is in that top, you know, level category. Uh, what the BSR is of the number one book in that category. This is really valuable if you're trying to pick a niche, you know, like what niche do you want to create a book in? Um, trying to see if you know, can you get on the bestsellers list. That's why you're going to want to look at this kind of information. They're even telling you how many sales you need to average a day in order to make it to that number one spot. Um, this is good because it kind of lets you know, like, how much money do I need to spend on ads, you know, to get where I want to get on the bestsellers rank. You know, it's going to be 23 a day, so how much am I going to spend to do that? Uh, that's just the kind of information that you can you can calculate when you get access, you know, to this type of stuff from the BookBeam uh, extension there. You can also use this on things like author pages, um, search pages. So let's see here. Let's look up a Kindle book. Let's just say we want soup recipes, right? That's what we want our books to be. So it's going to give us this information at the very top of the screen here. That's like the average based on the entire page. Uh, it usually takes a little while to populate. Um, so we can see the average BSR, you know, for this search is uh, 273,000 and change. Average review, 4.5. Search volume for this particular keyword that I put in, something else really valuable for you. Um, not only when you're doing niche research, you know, for your KDP stuff, but what you're going to put in your title, what you're going to put in your description, things like that. Um, so we can see the average price is going to be $5.89. Average sales a month here and word frequency. Now let me let me just scroll on down here and show you like how powerful this Chrome extension really is. Um, so we can see listed right underneath here this first result. We can see what the rank is, estimated sales and income, uh, number of pages. That's something really good if you're planning your own book. And you're trying to see like what's going on here with things that are actually selling. Um, and this works, like I said, on pretty much anything. It's really great. It's a great way to see like what your competition's doing uh, so that you can calculate, like if I go into this, what are my sales going to be, right? What kind of income can I expect if I achieve, you know, X rank, things like that. Uh, like this, the superfood soup recipe right here, this looks like a really great one to go into. Um, so that is how powerful just the Chrome extension is. And we haven't even gotten to the web app, which you get, you know, with your subscription as well. So let's hop on over to my account uh, and take a look at that right now. Okay, so from your homepage here, it's just like information, uh, you know, nothing that we really need to look at right now. Um, if you have books where you want to track their rank over time, you can do that here in the book tracker. It's not something, not really a feature that I use. Uh, the niche finder here is something that's going to be really valuable for people who, 
you know, maybe know they want to start making books, you know, to sell, you know, for Kindle and for paperback, but don't really know yet, like what niche do I want to go into? What niche is worth it for me? Uh, this is the part of the tool that you will definitely want to check out. Um, you can search by category, you put in keywords. There's also some interesting presets here, like top selling self-published books, uh, top selling self-published with a low star rating, a new high selling. Uh, I really love looking at these uh, just to see like what are other people doing? Like where's the money at right now, you know, in, you know, the bestsellers list and things like that. Uh, I know a lot of people are doing these low content books, the coloring books, word search and whatnot. Uh, let's just look here and see what's going on. So we got new high selling self-published books. Uh, you can do things like select different, you know, bestsellers ranks, uh, sales per day, things like that. But we've already selected this one filter. So I will show you what this looks like. Just click on find books and this is going to all populate for us. So we've got the average BSR, average reviews, average price, average sales, and then our word frequency over here, as well as estimated sales trend. So what you're going to see here is, is a wide variety of types of books. Most of the time uh, we do see a lot of coloring books. That's still really big on Amazon right now. Uh, like I said, you see the reviews here, you see the BSR, average sales per month, royalty per month. Uh, and then the price of that is letting you know this independently published, but of course we already did select, you know, self-published books. Uh, what I always find fascinating about this and seeing just how much money is in some of these things. So we have this spooky cutie coloring book, right? It's averaging almost 90,000 sales a month. And they're estimating that this, this person is making over 173,000 a month just from this one coloring book, which is insane, right? Because the price is only $7.99. I'll uh, see if we see anything here. What is this uh, natural something? Let's just open this up and see what it is. So it's an herbal remedies book. You see a lot of these 30 books in one, five books in one, six books in one doing really well on Amazon right now. Uh, we can actually just scroll on down here and take a look um, at what the extension is pulling in for us. The BSR, estimated sales per day, royalties per day, 2100 per day. That's crazy, right? Okay, let's just go back here to the web app for Bookbeam. Uh, so this is uh, estimating $85,000 a month. That's insane. One thing I do wish um, with this tool, it would be great if this, you know, top header here scrolled with the page, right? Because I'm having to scroll back up. Uh, to see like, is this, you know, the royalty per month? Um, of course, after you use it for a while, you kind of know like what each column is. Uh, just a just a side note from me there. Like I said, we've got 560 pages here. So, you know, before you know it, you could lose an entire afternoon just sitting here looking at what's bringing in lots of money right now. Uh, kind of coming up with some good ideas for yourself. Um, category history. I haven't actually used this. Um, looks pretty interesting though. Let's look at maybe the top 1000 self published books. You can see, you know, major holidays, which of course is when, you know, book sales are really, really big often, especially here in Q4. Uh, so we can see that uh, this past Christmas, this difficult riddles for smart kids was doing really well. $7.99 price, 300, I'm sorry, 3,334 sales a day. I do wish it estimated the royalties though. Um, but that's okay. You can do the math on your own. Really enjoy this uh, password. <laughs> log book here. Uh, trademark checker is going to be something that um, I don't feel like a lot of people are really going to want to use this because they're probably not going to need to, but it is there if you need it. Uh, keyword research tool is great uh, when we're talking about uh, what words you're going to put in the title of your book, especially if you're doing nonfiction. Uh, but you can also use this for keywords that you're going to put in the description of you know your book on the actual book sales page. Uh, keyword generator, kind of the same thing. Um, you know, I think it's pretty self-explanatory if you've used a keyword research tool, you know, for your websites or anything like that, it's going to be about the same. Um, most people I think are probably publishing Kindle books and not paperbacks. So you're going to want to make sure that when you're in this part of the tool that you are changing that from books to Kindle. Uh, the optimization one, this is a really fun uh, part of the tool as well that I really like. Uh, so let's say, um, you know, for me at least, what I like to use this for is picking a niche to go into. So let's say I want to make a Kindle book that I want to be able to rank high for, right? Uh, I don't want so much competition that I can't rank high. 
Uh, and we'll stick with cookbooks since I used it earlier. So we want to see primary category cookbooks. And let's see here. Let's look at art. Let's see if there's any subcategories in the cookbook uh, genre here where something's ranking, you know, less than 10,000. Uh, we'll go pretty deep with our layers here, the max we can, uh, and we will show ghost categories. So then we just click find and then here's some stuff already. Uh, so we have in the seafood Kindle cookbook category, we have a book that is ranking, let's see, top rank, just under 7,000 in the entire, you know, Kindle store. 23 sales a day, looks like, to get to number one. Uh, da, 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 da. Sales to number three, seven. That's like pretty super achievable, right? Uh, 11.99 average price. This is something that also helps you with pricing, right? Uh, you know, you know, you're gonna make a cookbook. You're gonna make it, let's say, in the seafood niche, right? Well, what is one of the best-selling books in the niche going for? It's going for twelve dollars. Okay, so then you price your stuff for, for this similar price. Um, this is great for making sure that you don't undersell, you know, compared to what the norm is for the niche. Um, like I said, this is one of my favorite parts of the tools as well. Uh, then we have Listing Optimizer. This one is great for when you are ready to publish your book. Um, or if it's already up and you want to be like, you know, what, what can I do to improve this so that I'll get, you know, more click through, more better rankings, more sales. Uh, that is what this part of the tool is for. Uh, let's go back to one of those that I had opened. Uh, we'll go back here to this original cookbook that I found. We'll get the ASIN. Copy that. Let's pop back over here and see what it tells us. It does take a minute to populate though. Looks like on the plan that I'm on, I get 50 of these a month. So it's pretty well optimized. Uh, it's 7.5. Uh, it's saying we, we need to get our ratings up to 20. Uh, but it's great that we have uh, an average of 4 or higher. Um, it's giving us information on the categories we're in and what we can do better. Uh, the description is letting us know that we could, you know, we can make some improvements there as well. Uh, a plus contents going through that. So overall, you can look at this and be, see this version is done pretty well. Um, when you are publishing your own stuff to Amazon, you will want to take advantage of this uh, part of the tool as well, because every little thing that you can do to improve your listing on Amazon is going to help you get more sales, you know, get more click throughs to your actual book. Uh, the description formatter, also another great item. Um, basically, it helps you do all of the formatting like we can see uh, right here in this section on this book. It goes down a little more as well. You know, getting the bold uh, text in there, getting the emojis in there, getting the bullet list, things like that, all formatted so that, you know, it's not just a wall of text. You want it to be something that is easy for readers to scan through and not, doesn't look like something they don't want to spend their time reading. Uh, Book Beam Create is not something that I have used myself, um, but it, let's say you don't really have any ideas. You just maybe have a title and the genre that you want to go into. This is where you go uh, to get, you know, an outline, a description, a book summary, things like that. Um, it's like chat GPT almost, but it's like just for people creating books. So it's, it's, a, it's like a next level kind of chat GPT for doing that. So that's what makes it great. Uh, the AI editor, again, this is something that you can use once you have, you know, started writing your, your book. And then, you know, opt-in pages. Everyone needs an opt-in page if you are regularly publishing titles on Amazon. So that you can start building that list and things like that. Uh, start getting yourself a team of people who can review your book as soon as it goes up, you know, for sale on Amazon because you've given them early access. That's what you're going to want an opt-in uh, page for. Um, so yeah, I know this was kind of like a quick run through of what this tool does, um, as well as the Chrome extension. Um, I just wanted to let you know, like the potential of what you can use this particular tool for. Um, I find it to be great, um, both for new people and established people, because it helps you get like a little bit of a leg up on the competition, um, as well, you know, as it being great for things like niche discovery, uh, knowing, you know, what categories and titles um, are going to be worth it in terms of, you know, making the big money and making it easier for you because it's easier to rank on the best sellers list. Um, if this is something that you want to check out, I actually do have a discount code for you that I'll put down in the description. 
Um, and there is a seven day money back guarantee on this tool. So I do urge you to at least check it out. Uh, you know, w work with it for a few days and see if you can, you know, make use of it to improve what you're doing with your publishing for Kindle and paperback on Amazon.